What a nice day, January 7th, 2022. Gonna try to film the moon tonight to notice any observation of maximum libration. Libation? Libration? I'll have to look it up. But the heliocentric claim is that on today, in each month, uh, there's a certain day that would be indicative of viewing the slight turn in the apparent spin, which, of course, there is no spin, there is no rotation. It's all perspective. The moon does not rotate, the moon does not spin, the moon isn't a sphere, the moon isn't a rocky, dusty ball with a golf course and a telephone system. No, no, no. We don't know what the moon is. That's why I love filming it. We just do not know what we are looking at. The sun and moon. Okay, so very dark here, filming the moon, looking for any signs of vibration on the right side. Okay, just filming the moon. I'm gonna try to zoom as close as I can to the right lower side around, I'm gonna say five o'clock, because that is where the mainstream heliocentric nonsense claims that there is a slight vibration, which means you can see more of the moon on the right side. Let's just check and see. Taking note of the, in quotes, craters, not craters, on the right side. Just to see if we see any different. Just gonna let it roll. Jan 7th, 2022. Minus 12 Celsius. 9.45 p.m. So the moon is moving in a downward trajectory right now as it's in its setting phase. I'm going to readjust the camera. Again, looking for any differences anywhere on the moon, on the perimeter, the right side. So as the moon comes into center and to focus here, we're looking at the perimeter right side at around 4 o'clock, 4 or 5, to see if we can see any new craters beyond what we normally see. To lay with a claim of vibration, let's see if we notice anything. beyond what we normally do. It's my stomach. Hungry. And the libration, if there is any libration, should be noticed on the uh, outside periphery edge looking on the right side edge of the moon for any new craters and of course they're not craters because if they were they would be glancing blows and of course that's all lies there is no such thing as a meteor so just documenting my first uh, film of the in quotes libration of the moon january 7th 2022 It's just for documentation purposes. I'm probably going to have to film more, obviously, when the moon is about four days old, just to compare. Okay, so it's becoming increasingly difficult to film the moon as it's getting lower in the sky.
This is more just for a video effect. It's fun. Look at that. <laughs> wow. The backlit tree by the moon close to us. Not 286,000 miles away. It's all a bunch of BS. Max zoom on the tree as it gets eclipsed or it eclipses the moon 286,000 miles away. I don't think so. Not a chance. The moon is a local light. Light doesn't travel infinitely in a vacuum. That's the max. So, in follow-up, closing remarks about my first documentation of the attempt to observe libration on the moon. Horrible footage, I know. It was uh, difficult because the moon was low on the horizon and it was moving fast. So, consequently, there was also a lot of trees in the way. So, I was only able to get a few minutes of good footage, if that. It was horrible. Looking on the footage now, thinking I should have prepared more. But anyway, regardless, in first glance, the moon libration footage of January 7th, 2022, inconclusive, impossible to tell right now until I compare footage perhaps next month or go back and look at more footage that I have to try and verify the, the mainstream claim that the moon on certain days of the month will display characteristics of a libration or a slight turn so this would be very interesting to document all right okay so i also want to say in follow-up after i made this video i researched lunar libration from a heliocentric point of view and i've included the link in the description of this video just so we can understand a little bit better about what um, lunar libration actually is. So it turns out there's three types of libration. And it's basically a rocking of the moon as it goes through its phase each month, phases each month. So it will kind of twist and rock. I was trying to film any evidence of that, but now that I understand it a bit better, I could uh, document to film the moon on the seventh of each month or perhaps... 28 days after this to see if it's the same or different so anyway even though the results were inconclusive just wanted to say it was good to try and film and verify what the heliocentric mainstream science says about our moon